In 1962, this IMO problem is a special case of the more general Euler's triangle theorem. So what is the theorem about? We work on the general case in three steps, proving two pairs of similar triangles and one isosceles triangle. We shall also make use of these theorems of circles and tangents. So let's start with the original IMO problem. Consider an isosceles triangle. Let R be the radius of its circumscribed circle and rho be the radius of its inscribed circle. Prove that the distance d between the centers of the two circles is given by d is equal to the square root of r times bracket r minus 2 rho. Let's take away the condition of isosceles so that the triangle is a general one. Then the statement becomes the Euler's triangle theorem. Here we use capital letter R and small letter R for the two radii. This notation is more convenient. So the theorem is written in this way. Alright, let's give some names to the points. We call the triangle ABC. Let O be the circumcenter and I be the incenter. Then we construct AI and extend it to the circle at D. Next, we extend OI on both sides to meet the circle at G and H. Let's hide the triangle and the inner circle for a moment. Because O is the center of the blue circle, so OG and OH are both equal to the radius capital letter R. That means IG is equal to R plus D and IH is equal to R minus D. In our step 1, we need to prove similar triangles. Which two triangles should we consider? Now, construct the size AG and HD. Let's look at the two blue triangles. Clearly, the two angles at I are equal, because they are vertically opposite angles. Next, these two angles at A and H are the same, but angles in same segment. This important theorem will be used three times in the proof. Now, with just two pairs of corresponding angles, the third pair of angles must also be the same, simply because the sum of angles in the triangle is always 180 degrees. Therefore, we can say that the two triangles are similar. The reason is AAA or simply AA. Indeed, the third pair is guaranteed to be equal, even without looking at the figure. So we will just apply AA again in step 3. Alright, why do we need similar triangles? Because we can get a relation about lengths. Here, the ratio IA over IH is equal to IG over ID because of corresponding size similar triangles. Let's do some algebra here. Cross multiply the equation to get IA times ID is equal to IG times IH. Actually, this result is also called the intersecting chord theorem. We put the lengths of IG and IH inside. Expand the right hand side, we get R square minus D square. Let's call this equation 1. Next, we move on to step 2. That is proving I source this triangle. We look at the in-center I again. By definition, AI and BI are the angle bisectors of angle A and angle B respectively. The two angles at point A are called X, and the two angles at point B are called Y. Let's focus on the purple side DI and construct DB. Then, this angle at B is also X, but angles in same segment. Now, we look at this purple triangle. We're gonna prove that it is isosceles. Here, angle B is equal to x plus y. For angle I, it's actually an exterior angle of the green triangle. So it is also equal to x plus y. Therefore, the two sides BD and ID are equal because of size opposite equal angles. We can put this result into equation 1. That is, IA times BD is equal to R square minus D square. Let's call this equation 2. Great, we're just one step away to finish the proof. We draw the side DO and extend it to the blue circle as E. So DE is a diameter with length 2R. Let's join the points B and E to get this purple triangle. In step 3, we'll have to prove another pair of similar triangles. Then, which two triangles should we look at? We construct this radius of red circle. Let f be the point of contact. So IF is equal to small letter r. Highlight the red side AF as well. 
we will prove that the red triangle and the purple triangle are similar. First of all, angle A and angle E are both equal to x because of angles in same segment again. For the second pair, angle F is equal to 90 degrees because of tangent perpendicular to radius. We also have angle B is equal to 90 degrees because it is an angle in semicircle. So there's a pair of right angles. That means the two triangles are similar with the reason AA. Now, we consider two pairs of sides with equal ratio. They are DE over IA is equal to BD over FI. Just like what we did in step 1, cross multiply the equation again. Therefore, IA times BD is equal to DE times FI. The left hand side is exactly the same as equation 2. It is R squared minus D squared. For the right hand side, we put the lengths of DE and FI inside. So it is equal to 2 large R times small r. Move the terms around to make D as the subject. We complete the proof of the theorem. D is equal to the square root of large r times bracket large r minus 2 times small r. It's interesting to know how Euler could prove this at the beginning. Are you looking for more challenges in IMO problems? Check out the next video right here on the screen. I will see you there.